Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Friday the 17th of May 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Fairy Tarot by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Well, it's finally warming up here in the UK. <laughs> I've managed to get into a long sleeve shirt instead of a jumper, which is really nice. OK. <clears throat> what is the message? Wow, thank you. For my wonderful friends from Spirit for Friday, thank you. Okay, well, they are giving us four, but we'll take that. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, our first card is the Five of Autumn, the Five of Pentacles, followed by the Five of Spring, the Five of Wands, followed by the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, I'm followed by the Queen of Winter. So we have two fives and two queens. And queens are kind of they're masters of, of emotions. Um, so then these two queens here are coming to help you over some uh, conflict, chaos, crisis. Well, the Five of Autumn, the Five of Pentacles is... Um, well, it's the card of, of lack, it's the perception of lack, it's um, when you feel that you don't have enough or you are worrying about finances, um, immediately uh, worry and anxiety will um, will put blocks on, on your on your path uh, and will stop any resources flowing into your um, experience. Um, so the message of this card is... Um, I really want to go back to yesterday with the grounding, um, staying firm while there is um, um, disturbance um, in in your environment. Okay. Reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for a career change, and feeling challenged by money issues. Next we have the Five of Spring, the Five of Wands. So there is some, some struggle, some conflict, a, a disagreement um, in your environment. Uh, but the Five of Wands is, again I'm drawn to grounding, it's one where you need to stay balanced, you need to stay grounded so that you don't let this um, lower frequency, this lower vibration um, pull you from your focus, pull you from, from your desires, pull you from where you see yourself being and also what you see yourself doing at the moment by you know remembering to live in the moment okay opposing goals arising from differing opinions feeling at odds with yourself or others overly ambitious people okay a little bit of competition going on i'm feeling again back to um Pluto and Saturn in retrograde, you know, the, the power control struggle that's, that's going on worldwide at the moment. Okay, your next card is the Queen of Autumn, the Queen of Pentacles. She's generous, 
she's stylish, she's gracious, and she's practical. She is the sort of energy that, I love the word that, that they have applied gracious um, to this queen, um, because there is a lot of respect around this this queen of of pentacles queens they are awareness they are mindfulness they are nurturing they are compassion they are all the traits of, of feminine energy uh, queens collectively are um, cup energy so this is the balance of um, of earth and of water so she is really grounded um, she doesn't let her emotions get the better of her she doesn't she doesn't get herself into conflict i am hearing she understands about cause and effect so she she doesn't she has mastered this emotion she doesn't let herself get pulled into negativity she doesn't let herself get pulled into competition and power struggles and control struggles um she has more respect for herself and she has more respect for um her subjects the 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 people around around her oh <laughs> okay be practical with respect to how you proceed the ability to make anything more beautiful and meeting someone who can help your dreams come true and next we have another queen this is the queen of winter the queen of swords i love the winter uh, illustrations in this card i get really get feeling of you're in narnia that you're really in an enchanted place it's wonderful so the Queen of Winter, the Queen of Swords, she is strong, she is patient, she is self-sufficient and she is funny. She is a wordsmith. She understands about walking her walk and talking her talk. She's a truth speaker. You are under no illusion when this Queen speaks that it is a truth. And that she will honour that truth. She will walk her walk and talk her talk. There is no hypocrisy with this queen. You'll feel relaxed when you are around this queen. Because there is no um, deceit around this, this energy. And the queen of winter, so she is um, she's air energy and water energy so she has mastered the emotions of her thoughts and communication so she knows that what she is thinking is creating her reality she knows that what she is speaking out into the world is bringing back to her karmistically so she really has mastered all of this so again i feel that this queen has turned up to say to you don't get pulled into conversations of conflict arguments disagreements um stay grounded i'm hearing don't let yourself get pulled into these low vibration frequencies stay high flying leave them down there if they want to come up and join you great <laughs> but don't you go and join them i am hearing wow let go of people or things that no longer serve you now is the time to focus on your career unmarried or divorced individuals oh boy <laughs> the queens have come to help you my friends they're letting you know don't just don't let yourself get pulled into any of these low frequencies, low vibrations of arguing, conflict, um, disagreements, um, wars of words, uh, power struggles, control struggles. Um, it's time to master your emotions, I am hearing, my friends. Be the bigger and better people. Wow. Okay. Now, where are we going? We are going to Wisdom of Avalon, Colette Baron Reed. Ooh. 
Ooh, straight out. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> you get another queen. Oh, boy. Woman. Fertility. Feminine power. Sexuality. Friendships. And it's number four. These queens are... Well, four is the number of uh, security, it's the number of safety, it's the number of stability, it's foundation. These queens, my friends, are coming to, um, I feel like, shore you up, um, give you some firm, solid foundation, a, a grounding that you can come from, a new basis, a new comprehension that you can come from. Ooh, wow, okay. Fertility, beauty, female sexual energy, earthly ple pleasures and friendships among women. The Queen summons you to bestow her gifts upon you so that you can revel in the beauty of life. The Queen appears to remind you of the importance of self-esteem, self-worth and holding your head high. Now is the time to set boundaries with others with gentle authority. Yet try not to be isolated from them in the process. The Queen knows how to delegate authority when she needs to. Summon your inner Queen and ask for what you need. The Queen may also ask whether you're having fun. Maybe you need to read a good book with a, good, with a cup of cocoa, go to a spa or make plans with your pals. Look after yourself and remember to nurture your friendships. The Queen knows that she needs allies in the world to sustain her and, in return, she shares her wealth with you. If you are inquiring about a specific female and your relationship to her, the Queen stands to represent her, which will bode well or not so well, depending on which other cards flank her. This card also represents pregnancy, either as a metaphor or as the true miracle of life itself. The Queen is always a powerful omen and ally and I feel as we have two other Queens that she has actually come to assist you. She has come as your powerful ally. She has come to say <laughs> I feel like letting your feminine energy uh, lead the way. Um, getting caught into power struggles and, and um, authority, control, it, it's real masculine energy. Uh, you're really being encouraged to step into feminine, in feminine energy. Um, be more compassionate, be more gentle uh, with your f uh, fellow uh, friends and, and family, um, people in your environment. Oh, OK. Now, where are we going? I'm called to the angels. Healing with the angels by Doreen Virtue. Oh, straight out. <clears throat> and you get listening. Okay, we just lower this camera. <clears throat> and listening. So you're being asked to communicate with the universe. The communication that you want to put out there is to source, to spirit, to the creator, to the universe, to your angels and spirit guides. They are listening. They are waiting to help you. They are waiting to whisper words of love, comfort, compassion, gentleness and kindness into your ear. They are waiting to share this information with you, to remind you of your soul, of your very essence, that you didn't come here to cause harm and hurt to to another human being but rather that you came to shine love out into the universe to make the world a better place wow <laughs> oh okay now where are we going i am drawn to the psychic tarot by john holland we might as well go for four cards on the bottom to keep some balance and harmony on the table. What is the message? 
for my wonderful friends. Woo, thank you. And we have number eight, Trapped in Fear. Um, and this is um, blue. So this is uh, talking about sword energy. Um, so this is um, reminding you that you are your own prisoner. So if you are caught up in uh, fear, anxiety and worry at the moment, that it is you that is trapping yourself. You can just change your perspe perspective, your perception, and you can overcome um, the feeling that you are feeling uh, trapped, trapped in fear. Okay, again, the Queen Energy, really prominent today, coming to help you um, be kind and gentle with yourself, I'm also hearing, as well as with others. This is about being kind and gentle with yourself. Don't berate yourself, no negative self-talk, remembering what you are putting out into the universe. Um, it doesn't just have to be about others. You could be talking negatively about yourself. So this is a real message of kindness, compassion, caring for yourself and for your fellow man um, and not getting caught up in the illusion of, um, of fear, of worry and, and anxiety. Okay. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. Ooh, wow, you're going to like this, my friends. <laughs> there is a rainbow at the end. Wow. Abundance. So enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited and blessings are coming to you. And the message of this unicorn is... You are the one that stops any abundance coming from getting caught up in negative, low vibration frequencies. Get yourself into higher vibrations. Love, care, compassion opens the door to miracles, opens the door to the abundance that you seek, the bounty, the harvest that you seek. Blessings are all around you, my friends, but you have to get yourself in the perfect place to receive blessings by being mindful of what you are putting out into the universe. Oh, wow. Wow. This is an absolutely another big powerful powerful message my friends well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits and thank you too for your warm kind caring compassionate <laughs> messages and emails thank you so much for sending them i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed day and until tomorrow my friends goodbye <laughs>